Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I've made it out to Colt House Forts on the Thames Estuary for a very blustery day today so apologies for any wind noise apologies if I have to lurch forward and grab the vlog vlogging camera before it obviously falls over but um, fantastic conditions apart from the wind that is because we've got some texture and some detail in the sky we've had a lot of grey thick cloud recently but today it's broken up and we've got some sun coming through as well so hopefully there's going to be that little bit of interest within the sky because of the area where I live and the area that I shoot there's the, the compositions that I come up with need to obviously have a lot of sky within it and when it's just that thick blanket of cloud with no definition in it at all it's really hard to pull any information out of it but today is one of those days that I'm able to capitalize on it as well so I've been here once before I've got a couple of compositions in mind already but hopefully walking around the fort area itself will come up with one or two more so let's see how I get on today Position, I've got really low down here for the moat that surrounds uh, Cole House Fort here but what I'm loving about this composition is the uh wooden beams that's obviously creating the side of the moat leading an arc in round as it's curving round and also mirroring the path as well as it curves around the outside of the fort grounds but balancing the image because there's some trees here as well obviously uh, middle of January that we're in at the moment so no leaves on the trees but I'm loving the shapes that it's creating with just the branches there's a bench there as well so adding a little bit of human element along with the path at the same time so with the image what I've got is uh, taking it at 18 mil f11 ISO 100 and 100th of a second as my base image but I'm bracketing two stops either side I'm also then taking a three composition pano as well so um, obviously got the nine images in total to bring back to post process into combine them all together to create that that really sort of uh, high dynamic range that I need for for this particular composition because I'm shooting directly in towards the Sun as well that's again obviously why I wanted to look at bracketing this image because of that sort of vast dynamic range I've then sort of uh, to make sure I've got it in the bag as well sort of kind of centrally composed the, the same sort of vista in front of me but just taking a single uh, composition of that single image again obviously uh, bracketing as well at the same settings just because again I, I, I want that as well as obviously the pano as well because uh, yeah it's, it's worth sort of taking as many compositions or many uh, images of the same composition that you've got because you never know what's going to work best when you get back to the computer um, and yeah hopefully working out really well I'm loving the detail in the sky um, and hopefully having that sort of dynamic range with the bracketed image that's where I'm being going to be able to pull out some of that information as well it when I was looking at the back of the camera at the histogram it was still sort of clipping it, uh, in the highlights even at um, obviously uh, one hundredth of a second um, as the base image but hopefully again as I say having that bracketed image will work out really well great trip out so far
picked up so much more than I expected so really sorry about the uh, the noise you're going to get across on the microphone but unfortunately there's not much I can do about it but one of the compositions that I wanted to capture on today's uh, visit to Coal House Fault is one of the actual fault itself when I was back here I think it was uh, over a year ago now that I was actually here originally I didn't actually capture any images of the fault itself so I've had a good walk around I've battled the elements to actually take this composition and hopefully it's working out to be a really whoops a yeah, really interesting one for this one so what I've actually got is the camera set up at 18 mil f 11 ISO 100 and also and that's uh, image is taken at 13 seconds with the 10 stop uh, filter on I've also then increased uh, it to f14 and taken a 20 second exposure as well because what I'm really enjoying about this composition is where we've got the the moat here sweeping round and then the fault as well working out to be really interesting as a long exposure because it's smoothing out the uh, the water and the moat but it's also smoothing out some of the movement in the clouds that we're getting here as well today uh, and then sort of I, th I think with the image as well I'm going to crop it in top and bottom as well and sort of make that typical sort of uh, letterbox uh, crop on the actual image because uh, yeah it's going to work out really interesting however shooting at 18 mil what I do have the ability to do is keep more of the foreground or the sky to actually add into the image um, I might well uh, decide in a moment uh, to, to actually zoom a little bit in on the camera and take another similar composition but a, a bit further cropped in because being at 18 mil the one thing I am losing in a composition is any sort of real detail in the actual fault itself yes obviously you can see it quite clearly however it's not sort of as prominent as maybe I would like within the actual composition so yeah I might might well sort of uh, put the vlogging camera down in a moment make sure that's safe and not going to get blown over and uh, look at recomposing this composition but uh, yeah I'm actually quite liking it with the weather. I mean, the wind, the movement that it's creating in the moat and the sky is actually really adding to it. Don't get me wrong, I kind of prefer it without the wind, but uh, yeah, these are the conditions and that's what you've got to work with with landscape photography, isn't it? You can't always come out in the ideal conditions, particularly this time of year, as I mentioned before. But um, enjoying it, nevertheless, is the main thing. today um, and I've made it over to one of the pillboxes that's here to get a little bit of a respite from the uh, wind oh crikey um, yeah I mean I've been here before as some of you regular viewers have known um, but it's the conditions today make it more interesting is to uh, let, let's put a positive spin on it more interesting um, yeah it's I enjoy it. What you, what you got to do is obviously just add that little bit of creativity to, to your sort of photographic skill box or your toolbox. Because if you can cope with the kind of conditions that you've got on that particular day, it makes it, that, that shoot that you're going out to do, you're actually able to grab an image from it. So when I was obviously back over at the moat looking at the long exposure, if I didn't have my uh, filter kit with me, then I wouldn't be able to capture that image. So it's making sure you've obviously got the gear to to, to obviously produce some of those images. And, and obviously, lugging the bag around, you want to make sure you've got everything that you need to when you're actually going out to take compositions. But um, yeah, it's it's using though uh, the gear to, to the advantage, um, and hopefully today using the uh, blustery or very windy conditions, it's, uh, it's going to make it that little bit better with these images. So, 
yeah, once I've got my breath back and it's not been taken away from me with the wind, there's a one more composition that I've just seen because I wanted to go down to the uh, original radar tower that was here that I captured two compositions when I was down here before. However, because of the, the winds that we've got today, um, I'm not going to be able to get, get down there. It's just not going to be... Uh, practical to be fair um, however though I've actually sort of looked at another composition that's going to encapsulate the uh, radar tower but maybe actually a little bit more interesting so uh, yeah let's go and capture that one now <laughs> composition I've got the camera set up here looking out at uh, one of obviously the ditches that's here leading over to the radar tower I've taken two compositions so I've taken this one here that's got in front of me in a pano with the camera in a vertical orientation taking about three or four shots at uh, f16 ISO 100 1 13th of a second as a base image but uh, exposing or bracketing two stops either side I've then gone back up the hill a little bit uh, to get one of the trees that's over my left hand shoulder here um, in the frame as well uh, I'm going to show that one as well but I'm not too sure about it that's hence why I've sort of come down here the reason why I like this composition over the other one though is because of the lie of the ditches it's creating a lovely sort of base of the image and then obviously leading up to the actual uh, old uh, or original radar tower here as well. So um, yeah, working out to be a really interesting shoot. Challenging because of the conditions, but that's why we love landscape photography, isn't it? gonna finish my vlog there um, yeah I, I love this location I'm wanting to return here um, but unfortunately never had the opportunity until now and yeah the conditions are well there are what they are but but I love coming out in these challenging conditions you're gonna get that unique shot because not every other photographer necessarily wants to venture out in these types of conditions but um, yeah I've, I've, I've really enjoyed it like I always do when I come out to take these videos um, yeah hopefully you've enjoyed all of the images as well today and uh, if you have please make sure you give us a comment as well and obviously let me know which one you prefer out of the set of images today and also um, please just just leave us a general comment I really do enjoy those comments about my videos and my work as well and thanks to everyone that's uh, subscribed as well really appreciate your support and if it is your first time watching my content please consider subscribing but thanks a lot for watching and until next time take care Thank you.